Hi, this is Todd Winter from Blue Water Photo and Video, and today I'm here to talk about the Nauticam 5D Mark III housing. I've had a chance to use this in the pool a couple of times, and it's worked flawlessly. Um, very nice housing, very ergonomically uh, laid out. They've moved a couple of the controls to convenient places, such as the ISO button that's normally a button on the top has now moved over to the side, very fast and easy to get to, great for video because you use the ISO button all the time when you're exposing manually in video mode. They've also taken the playback button and moved it to a lever on the side instead of using one of the push buttons on the back. Uh, the push button was never too hard to get to, but this makes it really convenient just to review your images very fast. Um, the 5D Mark III does not have a pop-up flash. So you've got two Nikonis 5-pin bulkheads on the uh, housing itself. It also comes with two optical uh, ports. Even though there is not a pop-up flash, Nauticam is working on an LED hot shoe that's going to slide in there and you'll be able to trigger optical uh, flashes in the future. You've got a lot of places to mount strobes and additional lights. You've got two uh, balls on the handle. You've also got two mounts on the housing itself, so you can put more, more balls there. And then on this particular port, which is for the 100 millimeter uh, macro lens, it also has a hot shoe, so you can put another ball there if you want to put your focus light right on the front there. Um, one of the things I really love about the Nauticam housings is the port locking mechanism. It's just this simple red lever here. You push the button down, release it, and the port just pulls straight off. You can put another port on, very simple to change. Just line it up, push it in there, and close it and lock it. Um, they've also added a lens release button on the front here, so it's really easy to change lenses. You don't have to take the camera completely out if you just want to change from macro to wide angle. Um, you've got controls for I believe every button on the housing, except for maybe the depth of field preview button, which uh, I don't think any housing has ever made a button for that, and I don't see why you would use it underwater. Uh, I have this one outfitted with the 180 viewfinder, which I've used for the past couple of years now. I really consider it a part, an essential part of my kit. It makes it a lot nicer for critical focus, for composing shots. Um, it's just you get really used to having this nice big bright viewfinder instead of the much smaller one that's just uh, typically with most housings. This is also really simple to change out. It's just a simple o-ring on the inside. Pull that off, slides right out, and you can replace it with the standard one or this one or the 45 degree one. Um, for video mode, you've got back button focus, you've got start and stop right here, and over on the side it's a little hard to see, but it's really easy to put it into movie mode. It's just this one switch right here, and like I mentioned before, you've got the ISO dial right there. Uh, you've also got shutter release on this side, which is very responsive and very easy to tell when you're just in half focus for, uh, for a half press. Let's open it up real quick. You've got two releases on the side. Push in these red locks, slide out. That comes right off. As you can see in the Nauticam housings, it's uh, they've got a lot going on inside there. That's because they do move the controls to where they feel they're going to be the most er ergonomically uh, fit for an underwater housing versus just where the controls line up on the outside of the camera. Um, there is a tray, a locking tray here. Uh, camera just goes on there. This is for the lens release button. And go ahead and put that back together. And I think that pretty much sums it up for the 5D Mark III housing. Um, like I said, I've had it in the pool a couple of times. I'll be taking it out next week for some open water trials. Very happy with it so far. Very happy with the camera. Uh, prior to this, I've been shooting the 7D, and the 5D Mark III is very similar as far as the button layouts. Um, it really feels like a full-frame version of the 7D, which has been a great camera. 
Um, and uh, if you have any other comments or questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at bluewaterphotostore.com. Thank you.